Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. Now, once again, we are in the Citroen, as you can see. And we are going to do, well, what else would we do on this channel? But a tasteful modification. Well, as you can see, this is a proper... Ah, quite a product. And, um, well, we're going to install it on the Citroen. So, let's do that. Yes, and this is the area where we need to install it. Now, for those wondering what this is, who haven't looked at the title of the video properly, this is an LED light strip. Um, so it will look exactly like a brand new Golf GTI or something like that. Um, it's probably similar sort of quality to these, which are terrible, but still looking three years later, so they can't be that terrible. And it's gonna go probably somewhere like that. So let's pull it out of the wrapper and see where the shit will fit. It's anti-static um, packaging for high quality and is it cause litter bugs suck off Satan? Very sensitive military grade electronics. Um, right, so now we are around the front of the vehicle where it's supposed to fit. And we're looking at where it's supposed to fit, and it appears that I've actually bought one that is too long. Because I want it to go from there to there. So that when the, when the bonnet's shut, it just puts a nice night rider shit, um, but white, because obviously this car's fully legal in every single way. Um, and uh, that's what I was hoping for, but it's too long. Now I'm hoping as well that like a lot of these LED strip lights, I can just cut the end off. But if I demonstrate how it works, you'll see why I can't do that. Yes. And as you can see during the start procedure, um, the lights sort of cross in the middle and I've cut the end off it, if it still works, if I've cut the end off it, it cross the middle of it. So what I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to the middle is here, right, I'm going to put that point in the middle of the vehicle very carefully, somewhere around there, and then, to stick it down, I'm just going to have to feed it, I don't know, somewhere into the engine bay. But first, I need to clean the area in question using brake parts cleaner. So I'll just, I'll just do this now. Nice and lovely. Nice and sparingly. Yes. So that now will stick very well. The other thing that's going to happen is when I do this is every time I try and get in the bonnet, uh, I'm going to end up pushing it out of the way. But, you know, these, these, these very high-end mods, they do always have sort of a bit of a practicality drawback with them it's just just the nature of what you're doing right so now as you can see i've very carefully measured and marked the center of both things i haven't measured this one i'm just doing it where the lights cross you know when it's doing the startup procedure that very erotic thing it does um so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to feed it through there um as you can see it's sort of interfering with the other lights that we're fitting but i'm going to feed it through there enough so it's made for the job you see look at that fits perfectly Yes. Yes. And this will light up the engine bay as well. Um, you know, so anyone who finds a way into the engine bay, the lights on, will be able to see where they're going. Um, so yeah, now I need to feed that through until I've got that a bit more. Yeah, I've got to set on this end so we're getting there. And now I need to peel back these sticky back shit, but just to this point to this point really and I'm just going to stick it on best I can it's probably going to lift up but the bonnet will hold it down anyway like it has done with these for years I mean as you can see they're securely attached as ever uh, but the bonnet clamps them down anyway which hopefully will do this as well um, so yeah but of course I haven't got a Stanley blade or anything so I'm just going to have to fumble with that a little bit which I'm not going to show on camera and just pull it off that length yes and I'll start by sticking it to the centre is in the centre, as, as I previously said I was going to do. And then hopefully it'll be malleable enough, mal mal malleable enough to um, follow this contour. Very nicely. And it's a perfect fit, as you can see. Let's, let's see how it fits with the bonnet. Down. But the bonnet isn't fully down, but wow. Yeah, imagine what that's going to look like lit up. Let's wire the shit in and find out. 
and you could easily wire this so it's on all the time so that as soon as the car's turned on it comes on but i don't want to do that i want it to come with the lights so i'm going to wire it into the lights so if we look down here we've already got these wired into the lights um, and this is the socket for the side lights with scotch lots on it already um, so what I'm going to use just to keep up the, the tradition is scotch locks and it will look amazing yes and if you don't know how to use scotch locks you, you basically put you see how it goes that, that's the green wire that's the, that's the plus to this light and then one of the things where the wire goes one of the ways of the wire will go all the way through I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to film this to show you because I can't really hold it and do it at the same time but then the other one Yes, the other one just goes in, and then once you've got the wires where you want them to be, you just clamp, you just clamp that down with some pliers, and then this goes over the top to stop anything shorting out against it. And then when you've done both, you're left with something like that sort of monstrosity, and they look awful, and they, they are awful, um, to be honest with you. I mean, I wouldn't use them on anything other than something as prestigious as this. Um, so let's put this shitter back in here, nice and nice and carefully, and then yes. That is amazing, as you can see, it's just so tasteful. And that leaves us with just one thing left to do, and that is to wait for it to be dark and see how sick it looks then. And as you can see, not only does it look incredibly sick, but I've just nipped to the shop around the corner and I'm, I'm like one minute after it closing because I was fucking about taking videos of my new light on my car. But it's worth it. Um, so now I can't get any coke. Which, no, no coke in the fridge. But anyway, I've also noticed this. So if we look at this wall in front of us, as you can see it's dark. So if I turn just the side lights on, with these cars stop going past inconsiderately with the headlights. Right, if I turn just the side lights on, you will see that as it powers up, it actually gives off a minute amount of light. Wow. What you probably also noticed is that the uh, dead light beam pattern's all fucked up. Um, I had to take them out for MOT and put the allergens back in about, I don't know, a couple of months ago, three months ago or so. And when I put them back in, I haven't set them up yet. So I need to get around to doing. Um, so yeah, I'm one of them dicks with LED lights that are probably blinding everyone at the moment, even though these ones don't normally. Uh, anyway, as you can see, like I said, it looks absolutely beautiful. Anybody, at a first glance, if you were really, really far away, like really far away, further away than that, you might think it was actually a Golf GTI. Um, but yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, nice, easy mod. Tasteful, questionable. Does it look good? Yeah, questionable. I'm going to leave it on. Of course I'm going to leave it on. Um, but yeah, nice, easy mod. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual kind of shit. And I'll see you next time.